Another LH gameplay video. Oh yes, another one. Another Net Euros game on the PS1. And uh, as a big fan of that whole homebrew kind of do-it-yourself movement back then, I made a point of playing all these games. But this one, Surf Game, um, I never heard of it. It must have escaped me. So I want to show it to you. It's really rough and incomplete. But um, I think the concept is quite brave. I mean, off the top of your head, how many surf games can you think of on a jet ski? So it's quite, quite unusual. It may crash because it's crashed a few times. You can phone the guy up, you can email him. The old control layout. It's, it's incomplete, but uh, I think it's, uh, I really think it was a, quite a brave and unusual idea for a Net Euros game, or mine that fish. So you actually do like, you do tricks once you hit the, hit the wave. Oh, I've gone back into it. Really, really quite unusual. And if um, if such a game exists or a similar one, it's not a game that I'm aware of. So it's kind of weird how this was not picked up, really. I suppose. So now as you go out further you seem to run out of you seem to run out of surf quite literally so I imagine you go back as I say it's incomplete it's a miracle that's been running this well so far on a PS2 but I don't know just as an idea so there's one just about to break So you can quite easily get into this. Because a lot of Net Euros games were simply... A lot of them were paying homage to Retro. Or a lot of them were kind of 3D. It comes, it's going to break. Hawaii Five-0 style. And the, the whole character animation and the... The jet ski itself, I, I don't know about you, I think it's uh, I think it's quite good. Over the top we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Not bad. So it is... Um, the waves do exist in kind of real time as well. That's obviously the beach. If you know a great deal about the Net Euros games and what was possible and what people were putting out, then you'd, you would appreciate this, I think. You know, as incomplete as it is. I'm trying to do a complete 360 like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very impressed. And as I've said before, it's one of the reasons why I like to collect the demo discs. Because little tiny, little tiny gems like this can be missed. Well, for me at least. Because we're never in a position to play everything and appreciate everything. But I do like this idea. I like the concept. I mean, I might be wrong. There may be a proper game based on this, but um, you know, if you were an amateur programmer knocking stuff out in your own time, let's face it, you'd have to be pretty brave to take this on as a subject. You know, if you announce if you announce to the world and you announce to Sony, I'm going to do a Pac-Man clone. You know, everybody would be impressed for a few minutes. 
but it's another Pac-Man clone. But something like this, uh, it's just uh, it's just unique and very brave. But I think you can tell how impressed I am, so I'm going to leave it there. But I really do like it. I do like it. An extremely brave concept to tackle on the Euros for their little tiny project. You guys take care of yourselves anyway, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.